Best film with a single gender cast, or an almost single gender cast? Club de Femme. It's the French version of the women. And um, the best part in it, I'll have to give a spoiler because it's hard to find, but um, there's a lesbian character, and the way it comes out that she's lesbian is that she's reading Baudelaire. Which one was this? Club de Femme, w women's club it's called. Oh, I haven't heard of it. It's amazing. There's, there's, not, there's not a single, there's the male characters, but you never actually see them. Like you might see their shoe or you might hear a voice, but they're never actually shown on screen. Does it feel like a gimmick the way they do that? Oh, totally. It's a totally a gimmick. And, and the thing is, it's, <laughs> it has all these kind of thinly veiled kind of cheesecake things with like, the women in the bathing suits, like hitting the beach ball back and forth. <laughs> I mean, so whereas like the women actually is kind of actually a feminist film, this is like very much a kind of exploitation art house version of, <laughs> of, uh, of, of the women. Of the women, I would be on my list too, though. Yeah. Uh, all right, I have a good one because it's one of my favorite movies of all time, actually, mm -hmm. which is the John Carpenter's version of The Thing, mm -hmm. which is a great yeah. single gender movie. And the original had women in it, had a couple women in it, and I think one of the first things he did was kick them out. I was gonna say, like any, almost any war film is usually all male. That's true. With, 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 there's several exceptions, but yeah. you know, like, uh, like Sam Fuller yeah. films yeah. are just like all a bunch of guys. Unless they find and some the kind of saloon. Is totally, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> fixed bayonets is all. I mean, like, oh, they'll, right. they'll squeeze in like a woman and like the big red one or something like that. Yeah. But also in other all women But not films. contemporary war films. They almost always have like, it's, one or it's two like throwbacky one. I think if it's like an old timey kind of war film. Um, also, eight women. Uh, speaking of women. Oh, that's mm -hmm. genius. Well, oh, film. that's great. It's like yeah. all all women and yeah. like male director. Yeah. So, hmm. um, the the one I could think of, and it's not technically all women, but it, it is essentially an all women film, is um, uh, Born in Flames by Lizzie Borden. Oh yeah. Which, yeah. which I saw, and you know, it's a it's a movie that you see in college. But I really really recommend anybody that is not in like a film program to just go seek this movie out. It's a, uh, it is. It's actually um, on Netflix Instant. Hmm? It's actually is on it Netflix. on Netflix yep. Instant now? Wow, that's. Yeah, that's well as her other film is on there too. Yeah, I mean, it's just a, it's a really fascinating uh, portrayal of working class women banding together to be punk music stars, I guess. It's the closest I can come to capturing the essence of the movie. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. Catherine Bigelow's in it. And Catherine Bigelow oh, has a very wow. short cameo. Interesting. And some very, very unknown, um, uh, punk punk ladies you know with some really good music i mean there's like really good like i, I don't know if you call it like no no wave. no, no, fi, no wave yeah, yeah. Well, no fi is what they would call it now i guess no no wave stuff yeah. you know the warriors is a great male movie although it has a, a female gang in it there's a, also a token love interest that pops in when they get to that one neighborhood. oh that's right yeah, yeah. she trails with them yes, also, also uh, right. mercedes Mercy. rules in it briefly yes that's right she captures hmm. uh james Ramar. Still very, very testosterone heavy film. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I that thought, would be another list. I thought there's, list, there's, I thought uh, there's like no a, shortage a, a of really mostly man. male or all yeah. male films. Yeah. You know, it's kind of interesting yeah. that there's like West rarity West. to find films that are all women, but. I just thought could, of another all female film. Yeah. Bitter Tears of Petra von Kent by Fassbender. Oh, oh yes. really? I didn't That's know that like was all female. Three or four characters in all female. Huh. And they never leave that one room, which is why it's so easy. Most of the single gender movies isolate the characters in some way, I guess. What do you mean, isolate like the characters? Like they put them in one room. Yeah, or, or women, cut them, don't. Off, cut them yeah. off. They go to Nevada for a divorce. Yeah. They like, go to, you know, it's like <laughs> they go all over the yeah. place. Yeah, they go to department stores. Yeah, um, but they they go to these spaces which are marked as women's yeah. spaces. So the department store, the spa, um, they go in the dude ranch. Right, they go all these. Um, well, I guess we have to mention the Bechdel test here. Do, we all, do you guys all know the Bechdel test, Allison Bechdel? Um, the Bechdel test is: um, are, are there more than two women in this movie? Do they talk to each other <laughs> about something other than a man? <laughs> <laughs> and you would be amazed at how many how many films fail this uh, fail this test. Yeah. Hurt Locker fails. Yeah, but directed by a woman. So. But directed by a woman. No, and that's all anybody could talk about when they mentioned that it was directed by a woman. Yeah. So can you Look what a masculine that? action movie yeah. it is. Mm -hmm. right. is it, it's, impo it's almost impossible that she was able well, to direct it. It's, it's, how did she yeah. do it? Yeah, it, 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 it's like how um, how portrayals of ugly characters are only possible when the star is secretly gorgeous. Right. So Charlize Theron's allowed to win an Oscar. <laughs> oh, that's right. right. You know, but that's a whole other list. Yeah. <laughs> right.